Hey, Paul from Anglers Marine out here on the new Cayman 266. I'll just do a little short demonstration. I'm coming up to the dock. I'm sitting here. I'm looking to see which way the current's going. The current's going by our bow to our stern. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just ease it in just a little bit to this floating dock right behind us here. And we're going to let the, the current work for us. We're just going to come in. Slow is always better when we're docking a boat. No need to be in no hurry and turn your boat up. So we'll just bring it in real easy and we'll just see how it goes this time. As you notice, we're just bumping it in and out of gear, letting the air current do its thing for us. I'm gonna get close. I don't wanna get on top of it. way. We're in reverse. So that is the way we come to a dock. You just get your dock lines tied off and you can sit here. Uh, if the current was going the other way, we would come from the other way of course. But uh, And the current actually holds your boat here on the dock too. So when you're getting off tying it, you don't have to worry about the boat taking off from you. It just makes life a lot easier. Uh, now we're going to go to a different ramp at the boat ramp and dock there. Just to show you a little bit about loading and unloading, when you come to the ramp, it's all about being slow, getting the boat over to the ramp, having someone to hold it when you go get the trailer. Uh, as you can see, we're bringing the trailer down to the ramp now. Uh, another thing you do not want to do is get the trailer too deep. You want the trailer to cradle the boat while you're rest, uh, driving it up on the boat. And we give a second, you see the boat's driving right up. We got it centered, we bump it up till it hits the roller. Everything's secure. We've got straps on it, chains on it. Uh, it's ready to go. We'll stop at the top of the ramp, check everything out again, and uh, save it for another day to go. Now what we're gonna do, Ben, we pull the boat out of the water. We're just gonna make sure the boat's motor's got plenty of clearance, which if you're level with the ground with your motor here, you're good. They're not gonna drag. We're lucky here, we got a jack plate we can bring it up and down. And usually when I come out of the water, the first thing I do is remove the plug. There shouldn't be a whole lot of water comes out, just residual water. But if it rains or something like that, the water will drain out of the boat to be able to pump, don't have to work. Uh, she's on the trailer straight. She's latched down. Everything in the boat's been got up that was loose. So we're ready to tow. Have a great day.